Hi, it's Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are making this gorgeous beached granny baby blanket. If English isn't your first language, you can click on this gear on the video and scroll through to find your preferred dialect. And this easy to follow step-by-step -step crochet tutorial is available in both right and left-handed, so please check the description box below to find the version that suits you best. This is a perfect stitch, a perfect blanket for working on if you are hanging out with friends or watching TV, it is a super easy to remember one row repeat. So we are always starting and finishing in the exact same way. And the pattern also will result in a super straight edge. So if straight edges are something you struggle with, this pattern is for you. You could do any color combinations you want. You don't have to do stripes. If you do want to do the same stripes as I have, they are included in the written pattern. For my beached granny baby blanket, I used three different colors of yarn. This is Saver from Ice Yarns. It is a four weight worsted weight acrylic yarn or a 10 ply if you are in Australia. The finished size of my blanket is 31 inches by 40 inches. And I used a total of 440 grams of yarn altogether. So just over two skeins of Saver, but with the three colors, I ended up using about 350 grams of the yellow, and about 60 grams of each of these two colors here. Or just 440 grams of yarn or 727 meters for the entire blanket. I used a seven millimeter crochet hook and you'll need a needle for sewing in your ends and a pair of scissors. Here are the timestamps. You can jump back into where you left off and let's get started. To make your beached granny baby blanket, grab a handful of stitch markers. For my size blanket, I'm using nine stitch markers and your crochet hook and your yarn. Now for my blanket, I started with our two stripes of gray, but you could use whatever colors you want. And for this tutorial, I'm just gonna be doing a sample and I'm gonna be using this yellow color so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better than if I was using this gray color here. So for my blanket, I started with gray but for the tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you in yellow. I'll also show you how to change colors, so don't worry about that, I'll show you that as well. So go ahead and make a slip knot any which way you normally do. Shrink that down, pop it onto your hook, and chain 111 for my size blanket, or any multiple of six plus three. For my chain, I'm gonna be putting in a stitch marker every 12 stitches, so I have my nine stitch markers here and go ahead and chain 12. One, two, three, 11 and 12. Now just roll that chain over. We wanna be looking for these camel bumps along the back. These little Loch Ness bumps are back loops. We're just gonna slide a stitch marker into that back loop right underneath our working yarn, right there. So we're just gonna mark every 12th chain. So go ahead and chain 12 more. One, two, three. 11 and 12, and pop another stitch marker in. So you can pause the video and keep working along, doing chains of 12 and then popping in a stitch marker all the way along until your chain is a little bit longer than or wider than you want your blanket to be, or you have used up all of your stitch markers. And if you want to follow along with the written pattern, all of my patterns are written in plain English and available on my website, secretyarnery.com. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna be making a smaller sample. So when you've used up your nine stitch markers or your chain is wider than you want your blanket to be, go ahead and chain three more. One, two, and three. We just wanna rotate that chain to the side. We're still looking for those back loops. We're gonna be working into the back loops for this first row. And the first back loop is right underneath that working yarn. It is right there. There's one, two, three. Number four is right where our stitch marker is. So wrap your yarn and into that stitch where our stitch marker is or that back loop. Just slide it onto your hook and we're gonna make a V stitch. So one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet into that same chain. Just like that. Wrap your yarn again, we're gonna go into the next back loop and you can take out those stitch markers if they get in your way. We're gonna go into our next back loop right there and do the same thing. So a V-stitch into the next back loop. So one double crochet, chain one and one double crochet into the same chain. Just 
just like that. Now we're going to skip four chains, so just roll that chain to the side. So we want to look for our back loops. So our next one is here. So there's one, two, three, four, five. We're going to go into that fifth back loop right there. So wrap your yarn and into the fifth chain from your hook. Just slide that back loop onto your crochet hook and make a V-stitch. So one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. All into the same chain. And we're going to do that again into the very next back loop right there. If working into your back loops is difficult, you can just work into your chain, but this just helps the end of your blanket match, or the beginning of your blanket match the end of your blanket. So into that next chain, a V-stitch, so one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. And just make sure your chain isn't twisted. Just keep the pretty side of those stitches facing you. Wrap your yarn, skip four chains, and work into the fifth. That's where our stitch marker is and make a V-stitch, so one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet into that very same chain. Wrap your yarn again and into that next back loop, just slide it onto your hook, and make a double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. So that's the repeat for this round. We're just going to be skipping four, one, two, three, four, and into the fifth, we're going to go in and make a V-stitch, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. And we're going to do that again into the next stitch, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. So you can pause the video and keep working along, just repeating that all the way along, and you'll know every time you get to a stitch marker how you're doing with your stitch count, and that is a great reason to be using those stitch markers. So pause the video, keep working along, and I'll meet you at the end of your chain. At the end of your chain, we're going to make two double crochets into that very last back loop. So right down in there, we're going to do two double crochets into the last chain. So just slide that last back loop onto your hook and make two double crochets. There, just like that. And that finishes row one. And now we're ready to start row two, which is the repeat. To start row two or the repeat round, chain three, one, two, three, and turn your work. So our chain counts as our first double crochet into the first stitch, and we're going to make our first real double crochet into the second stitch right there. So wrap your yarn and one double crochet into the second stitch. And now we're just going to be jumping over and working into the center of our shells. So we have our two sticks in the center, one and two. We're going to be working in to just those two stitches in the center of these shells. So that's all you have to look for all the way along this pattern for the entire blanket. Super easy. We're just going to go into these center stitches. So into the first center stitch, a V stitch. So one double crochet, chain one and one double crochet. And into the next center stitch or the next stick right there, one V stitch. So double crochet, chain one and one double crochet. I'm going to repeat that all the way along, so into each of these center sticks, or these center trees, it's like V's into trees. They remind me of little trees in the middle, so V's into trees. Just keep looking for the next stick, center one right there, pop your hook in and make a V, so a V into the tree. One double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. I'm going to repeat that into the next stick, right beside it. One double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. See how that works up? So into the next two center stitches, or those next two trees, 
put a V. So a V into the tree. One double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. If I'm going too fast, just hit that gear on this video. You can slow me down or speed me up. Even just pause me and get caught up. So again, into the next center stitch. Each of these shells gets two Vs, basically. So one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. So you can pause the video, keep working along, putting a V into each tree or each of these center stitches all the way along. And your Vs are one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. All into that same stitch, that center tree. And you want to do that twice for each of these shells. So double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. All the way along, I'll meet you when you get to the end of your row. At the end of your row, you'll have this little blip left. So there's your double crochet and your chain. We're going to make one double crochet into the stitch, and we're going to make one double crochet into the chain. So we're always going to start with two stitches, and we're going to end with two stitches. So wrap your yarn and into that double crochet, into that stitch, one double crochet, and into the chain, one double crochet. So always ending with two just to give our blanket a nice straight edge. So that finishes the repeat or row two. You can keep going doing that row over and over until your blanket is the size you want it to be. Or I'll show you how to change color right here at the end of the row. If you wanna change color when you get to the end of your row, we're gonna finish the same way. So we're gonna do our double crochet into that last stitch. And we're going to start a double crochet into the chain, but leave those last two loops on your hook, just like that. Now go ahead and cut your yarn. Long enough tail to sew in with a needle later and grab your new color of yarn. For me, it's this gray. And just pop it onto your hook and bring it through. Now drop your tail and you now you'll have two tails. Just hold them along the back of your work and shrink down both of them, <laughs> just like that. And there is your new stitch. So you just start, you finished that double crochet with your new color. And then you would start your new row the same way. So chain three, one, two, and three. Now you can let go of those tails. Turn your work and start your new row. So first double crochet into that second stitch and a V into each of the trees. So one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. So there is your super easy way of changing color. Then when you go back, you're just gonna sew in your tails to the matching color. So you'd sew the gray into the gray, the yellow into the yellow, and you can change colors as often as you like. So now pause the video, keep working along, and I'll meet you when your blanket is the size you want it to be. If you want to do the exact same stripes I did, I started with two rows of gray, six rows of yellow, one row of gray, two gr rows of white. So this is my standard stripe in the center. And then I added a stripe of yellow each time to make my yellow stripes increasingly wider. So this is seven rows of yellow, then my usual stripe, eight rows of yellow, 10 rows of yellow, and then for the last one, I did 12 rows of yellow. Now for my last set of stripes, or my last basic stripe here, my white and gray, I flipped it around. So instead of doing gray with then with white on top, I did white with gray on top, just so the top edge of my blanket matches the bottom edge of my blanket. Do you see what I mean? You don't have to do it, that's optional. If you are doing even stripes, so a set number of your main color and then this sort of stripe to divide them, but it's even all the way, halfway through your blanket, you might wanna switch. So my last stripe before the top of my blanket, so this is the top of my blanket, this is the last stripe before the top of my blanket, I flipped it around. 
So white closest to white. The bottom of my blanket matches the top of my blanket. And that's how I did it. I just flipped one of these stripes right before I got to the top of my blanket. So pause the video, keep working along, and I'll meet you when your blanket is the size you want it to be. When your blanket is the size you want it to be at the end of your row after your last stitch, just go ahead and chain one, cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug that down to secure. Sew in your tails, and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video right there, and stay hooked.